Let me show you how I made these Suncatcher inspired earrings. I really wanted to make a pair of earrings that didn't have any flowers in them, so I got creative and this is what I came up with. First, I'm grabbing my resin tape and I'm cutting two small strips and one long strip. Keep the long strip face up so the sticky side is up and use the small strips face down to stick the long strip to the table so it can't move around. I usually use packing tape for this part, but I decided to buy the resin tape and give it a try. I really like it. I think it's worth it. When I take off the packing tape, sometimes it leaves a little bit of sticky residue at the back. Uh, with this resin tape, the finish is smooth on the back and I never have the sticky residue. I'm grabbing my frames for my earrings and placing them onto the tape. Make sure to press them down pretty well because you don't want any of the resin to seep out the back of the frame. I'm placing my first layer of resin into the frames. This is counterculture DIY UV resin. This layer is going to serve as the back of the earring and it's going to hold in place all the other layers of resin that's going to go on top of it. And now I'm using my skewer to move the resin around and make sure to fill in any gaps around the frame. I'm also moving any trap bubbles to the center and then going over this layer with my lighter to pop any bubbles that are in there. I'm grabbing my UV lamp and letting this layer cure for a minute. If you have a thicker layer than I do, it may take longer. You'll know when you're ready for the next layer, when that first layer is rock solid. Now I'm ready for the second layer and I'm putting a dab of resin in each frame and spreading it out with my skewer. And then I'm gonna go over it with my lighter like I did in the first layer. I'm gonna start adding in my embellishments and I'm starting with these cute little gold moons and then little oval pieces of iridescent confetti. I'm starting with this light blue colored iridescent flake and then I'm gonna add in uh, little rhinestones that are a little bit holographic. I was going for a galaxy, night sky, cosmic <laughs> universe type of look and I'm gonna continue to build these little galaxies. I also realized that using a skewer was a little bit easier than using a tweezer and I just have my skewer that's a little bit sticky at the tip and it helps me pick up a little flake or a little rhinestone and that was a lot easier just because it's so tiny. Now that I'm happy with this design, I'm gonna get my UV lamp and let the resin cure for a minute. I'm placing a third layer into each of my frames and I'm gonna add in some iridescent flakes into this layer. I'm placing a small amount of white iridescent flakes in this third layer. Flakes like this normally go transparent and that's why I thought, oh, it might look cool to put it in the top layer. If you wanna go for one of the colored ones, I would recommend putting it at the bottom layer. Now I'm using my lighter to remove any bubbles, and then I'm gonna get my UV lamp and let this layer cure for another minute. Now I'm 
going to do one final layer and it's going to be the top of my earrings. So I want it to be flawless and smooth. I'm going to put a generous dab of UV resin in each frame and then spread it out with my skewer and let it cure for the final time. Since this is the final coat of resin, I'm just making sure that all the edges of the frame are covered by resin evenly. That top layer is cured now, so my earrings are pretty much done. I'm going to remove the frames from the tape. And here's how they look in indoor lighting. I think it looks pretty cool. And I'm just gonna finish them off with some earring hardware. It's very simple. The frame goes right into the hoop and then it gets closed off by a set of pliers. I'm gonna do this for both frames. And now my earrings are finished. Thank you for watching. And here they are again in the sunlight. Catching the sun like sun catchers do. <laughs> uh, let me know if you guys have anything else you'd like to watch me create. Thanks again.